Plastic bottles are one of the most common forms of waste you are likely to come across, and recycling isn't always entirely efficient. In this video, I will show off a tool that lets you take plastic bottles and reuse them as a versatile cordage for craft, home and outdoor use. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I want to show off a revision of one of my personal favourite projects, the Bottle Cordage Maker. It's a fast and functional print that allows you to make this multi-purpose cordage from plastic bottles. In the version 1 video, I showed it off, but I don't feel like I really showed what it's useful for very well, or how to use it, so I'd like to cover that in this video. This is technically a version 3. I had my first try at one over a year ago, and was very happy with the result. It packed down into a smaller size with the tools to assemble it contained within itself. The idea here was to keep it as compact as possible. A month or so ago, I decided to revisit the project and make some minor changes, but after completing these and experimenting with it a lot, no! I'm gonna... I came to the realisation that, for most people, this design kinda sucks. It's very small to hold, it has a lot of pieces to potentially lose, and printing pieces this small was annoying due to the elephant's foot effect. While I don't think this design is completely obsolete, I think it's only best suited to areas where space is at a premium, like in outward survival kits that some people like to make. Version 2, or version 3 technically, is a complete overhaul of the design. It's just one printed piece, compared to five or so on the older versions. It's larger, but not by much, and takes around 1.5 hours to print. It is designed with a handle to make it much, much easier to hold. It is larger overall, but not by much, and it still fits fine into pretty much any bag or pocket. Overall, version 3 is just better <laughs> in virtually every way. Version 2 is also available since I think it's an improvement over version 1, but version 3 is the most useful overall, in my opinion. To use and assemble it is also much easier. First, print the version that suits you. There's a left and a right-handed option. To assemble, I'll start with an optional but highly recommended step. In this groove here, I have a piece of brass 6.5mm wide. I cut a 15mm length and then glued it in place. You could substitute this with another pencil sharpener blade if you don't have any metal this size. The purpose of this piece is to greatly increase the lifespan of the tool, since the bottles will wear away at the 3D printed plastic over time. Again, it's not 100% needed, but I would highly recommend it. Then, take a pencil sharpener blade and put it so the blade is orientated like so. The blade must be upside down like this or the tool will not function. Next, take an M2 bolt of at least 16mm long and put it with a washer through the blade. It can be longer, I'm using a 20mm one without being uncomfortable. And like that, the tool is made and ready to use. Much simpler than the previous versions. To begin using the tool, you first need to prepare a bottle. Simply cut the bottom of a bottle like so. Then pick up and grasp the tool. I've made the handle so that it's pretty obvious the ideal way to hold it. Push the bottle through in a clockwise direction, until you get a thread started like this. Then just start pulling. It might take some practice, but once you get into a rhythm, it keeps going very easily. An entire bottle can be shredded in just a matter of seconds. And now, on to some uses. Let's start with my personal favourite use, making custom cable wraps. I love this because you can make wraps in any size and colour combo to suit the project you are working on, and it's really easy to do. First, choose the diameter of the wrap you want and find something, like in this case a dowel, that matches that diameter. Make a slit in the end, or just tie the cordage and heat it up. and then wrap tightly, ending either in another hole or groove or by clamping. Then 
Take a heat gun and heat up and down the length until you see the edges contract a bit. Once this is done for the whole length, remove your new cable wrap. I especially like this because of how I'm able to make cable wraps in specific colours to suit the theme of a project I'm working on, provided that I can find a drink bottle in that colour, of course. The wraps are also transparent, which is something I haven't seen in commercially available cable wraps. A second use is just as a general purpose binding material. The cordage has the unique property of shrinking and tightening when heated, which allows it to form a tight, waterproof bond without any glue. It's also useful just as string. Here, I needed some wide cordage to hold up insulation while I installed my ceiling. Instead of buying specific plastic strapping, I used some of the cordage I had on hand instead. I think this also brings up a good point in making a bunch and storing it when you need it. If I had to set up the whole thing just to shred one bottle for a small use, I would be less likely to bother, but because I have a ton of the stuff from testing, I'm finding more uses just because it's on hand. Next, I'd like to touch on a more recent trend, using shredded bottles to make 3D printer filament. There's a few channels that cover the topic, and while I'm yet to try it myself, it's on my to-do list. They all have their own slightly different methods to shred bottles and turn it into usable filament. I don't want to say too much about their videos, so if you're interested, they are all linked below. A common use for this bottle cordage is for outdoors slash bushcraft slash survival use. As plastic pollution becomes sadly more commonplace, finding bottles in natural areas is often quite easy. For people who like to practice bushcraft, being able to use this trash for a purpose is quite the appealing idea. A couple of examples of outdoor uses are for lashings and as fishing line, and I'll demonstrate making a lashing now. A couple of those ones. Yeah. Perfect. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we've tied two pieces of the cord together so we can continue our lashing. Okay, ready? Sorry, pull, pull on it again. Okay, we're just removing the support stick just so no one can accuse me of faking this incredibly important test. In just a moment, we'll see. I'm scared this is gonna drop on me, not gonna lie. <laughs> it should be right. No. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Look at that. Will it support my weight? I mean, that's holding my weight. Like, I haven't fallen, and that's, you know, it's all on that, so... I'd call that a success. And that's from just a one liter bottle. So, if you had a two liter bottle, you can make it twice as strong. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it actually... I mean, I expected it to hold up, of course, but, you know, it's still... Nice to put it to the practice. It's still, you know, it's pretty... It's a small amount of stuff. You don't think that would hold, but you know, you saw it for yourself. That was holding my entire weight, which is on screen now. I don't know it off the top of my head, <laughs> but still, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's a pretty good demonstration of the strength of, you know, such simple cordage. As for use as fishing line, I don't have any experience using it that way myself, but this video demonstrates the process. 
On that note, I think this is a good time to mention some other options. I don't want to seem like I'm claiming my tool is the best option out there, just an option for people with 3D printers. The video I just mentioned uses the Cordage tool by Crim Workshop. It looks really nicely made out of laser cut steel in the US and is just 12 US dollars and seems pretty faultless. If you're not as interested in the portability factor, then these simple wooden models are available on eBay. Or you could just make your own like I show in this video. What I'm saying is that there are a lot of options out there and you just need to choose what works best for you. To close, I'd like to touch briefly on the environmental considerations of this tool. In short, my understanding that reusing bottles this way is only beneficial if it's for long-term uses. There are many recycling systems in use, but I'm basing this opinion off of this example explained here, which explains that as part of the recycling process, waste is sorted via size and plastics under a certain size, they say 2.5 inches, are discarded and not able to be recycled. Because of this, once you shred a bottle like this, it is no longer able to be recycled. Now, obviously the impact of the number of bottles being shredded by this tool is so minute it doesn't really matter. But using this cordage as an environmentally friendly alternative to another product is a mute point since you are still creating the same amount of plastic waste. I came to this conclusion while writing the first draft of this video. It was before Christmas, and I planned to show recycled bottle cordage as a more eco-friendly alternative to tie-up presents, with instead of using a product made straight to go to landfill. But as I said, using it to be eco-friendly in a case like this is actually creating more waste. I would however argue that outside of single-use applications, the use of cordage like this could be deemed environmentally friendly. Not that important, but I wanted to mention it nonetheless, since I'm sure it matters to some people. Anyways, that's all I have for this video. Sorry about my absence, I've been building myself a new workshop which has been taking up quite a bit of my time, but it's virtually finished now so I should be able to pump out a lot more content. I have about 6 projects saved up ready to go, and with this new workshop I should be able to make stuff so much quicker, so get excited for that. Thanks as always for watching, and files are linked in the description.